starting another vlog. All right, wow, this lighting is super nice. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm here doing a little weekend vlog for you guys because it is finally Memorial Day weekend. I can't believe we get a holiday, so I'm very excited. So, uh, it's currently Friday and I just finished filming a video. I'm probably gonna be editing that all night today um, so that I can get it up next week. So I'm gonna be doing that, but I have an early day. It's actually 1.50 right now and I have a doctor's appointment at 2.30, so I'm gonna leave around 2.10, so that's in 20 minutes, oh my God. I have to change and situate myself i did just have some lunch yeah i feel like i've just gotten so much done today i have to catch up on some emails right now and then i will get ready for my appointment i'm actually really nervous to go to the doctor i freaking hate going to the doctor and the last time i went was two years ago it's time to go to the doctor so i'm just going for a routine physical i'm not sick there's nothing wrong with me i hope oh my god there's nothing wrong with me yet so we're just gonna go to the doctor see what's up I, I feel like I'm probably gonna have to get some stuff done. Um, they're probably gonna wanna inject me with stuff and draw blood, which I haven't drawn blood since I was a child. And I was one of those dramatic children that would like scream and cry and just, I was so embarrassing. Like if my kids are like that, I'm gonna be mortified. Oh my God. And knowing my luck, my kids are gonna be exactly like me when they're older. Anyway, okay, so my camera's about to die. I have to charge it, just my luck. Anyway, I just wanted to start off this video and welcome you to the vlog. Is the lighting okay? Let me close the blinds a little bit. We are back home. We got our nails done, went to the doctor's. Went to Target real quick. We did a lot. Um, it's currently 5.15 and I have to text Gus to see what he wants for dinner. Everything went really well at the doctor. I am in great health. The only thing is that I have to get a bunch of blood work done and they asked me if I wanted to do it today and I was like, sure. And I ran out of there as fast as I could because I'm really scared. So I have to go back another day, but I have to like mentally prepare for this and I kind of was already but not enough apparently because I'm really scared so we're gonna do that another day tomorrow we're gonna go out to brunch and that should be interesting I'm still on whole 30 it's been like really tough to find places that I can actually eat I just have to look at the menu beforehand and figure out what I want what modifications I need to make and if it's doable and then I just book the reservation Sunday we might go to the beach with some of my friends and then Monday I have um a photo shoot which I've actually been prepping for like about a month I've been buying a bunch of stuff that I can wear it's actually a boudoir photo shoot and I'm really excited but also very nervous because I've never done anything like that so yeah this uh, boudoir these boudoir photos are going to be for Gus as a wedding gift he already knows he's gonna get this so I think um, that's it's no spice but Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna do that on Monday. I'm gonna get my makeup done. I'm gonna do my own hair and then I booked a hotel room and then the photographer is just gonna meet me there and we're gonna do, do the pictures. So super excited. Also, I've been like eating especially clean this week so that I look pretty good for Monday. So the only thing is that I did get a rash on my freaking chin. So you guys probably, I mean, you can see it. It's kind of almost gone, but it's still like a scab now, and it's annoying. Um, I do get cold sores, but now instead of on my lips, they go on my chin. I have no idea why, but anyway, I'm going to wait to see what Gus has to say, and then we'll plan the rest of the night. Basically. Um, I've been awake since, God, I want to say like 7.45, maybe 8 o'clock. I don't know why, I just couldn't fall back to sleep after my alarm went off. So we've been awake for a really long time. And I've just been in bed watching YouTube. Anyway, Gus is going off to work right now. And I am going to start getting ready for brunch. So I need to take a shower and just start putting myself together. Because I look like a mess right now. Wow. Okay. This makeup turned out so nice. I love it. Please excuse the messy room. But this is my outfit so far. It's just all black. I'm wearing these high-waisted like flare pants you can't really see them very well but they're super cute i've never worn anything like this so 
very cute very flattering and then just this sweater on top because it is kind of cold it's all black you can't see anything and right now i'm having kind of a dilemma i don't know what bag to wear so i have not this hanger i have the black prada or this like bottega dupe i don't know if this one would look good i don't know i feel like i should just do the black okay so the coat was a little too much for brunch i think it just looks a little too evening so i'm just gonna wear the black bag and just go all black gus is actually a little dressed up for brunch so i didn't want to look you know too casual so this is the outfit breath right now yeah so Gus and I have been just relaxing at home for the past couple of hours we've been doing just little things at home so I've been editing a video we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow so I was prepping some lunches for tomorrow and just snacks that we can take to the beach and then I've been just rounding up our beach stuff right now I'm just going to pack up the items I'm gonna take to my boudoir photo shoot on Monday I just want to get that prepped so I don't have to think about it tomorrow or Monday morning I like to be prepared so I'm gonna do that right now I just have to sort through the pieces that I want to wear and yeah I'm also doing laundry right now so it's just been very productive I really feel I don't know why but I have like this craving to like go out and have a cocktail and party but it's like where am I gonna party like no I don't need to drink I don't know why I just sometimes I get those like urges to go out and hike like, party and i'm like I, I don't need to i don't need to do that like for what to waste money so i'm just gonna keep myself busy and get shit done this is my outfit for the beach got a little backpack i don't know where this is from my shorts are from shein and then my bathing suit is from i think it's from boohoo it's like high-waisted white thrifted shirt birkenstocks we have hand sanitizer we have a bunch of snacks lacroix Uno back there, hot Cheetos, fruit for me, and then a big ass salad and a sandwich for Gus. Guys, look what I found in my backpack. I guess the last time I wore that was when I went to Disneyland for my birthday. This is so cute. I also have a ticket from back in the day. Oh, oh. Lily. Okay, so we're back from the beach and we came home, got Clyde out, and then I just changed into some sneakers and put on a little bit more makeup because we're gonna go out for some seafood and I'm so excited. Anyway, I look really comfortable right now, but it is what it is. Oh my God. Hello. Dinner. They're huge. Wow. Taste that. Is it good? Saludo para lo ver como tan. You look so cute. Okay. It is now Monday. It is Memorial Day and I took a shower. I kind of, I'm starting to get ready for the day. I'm gonna blow dry my hair right now and then the makeup artist that I booked is coming at 12. I don't even know what time it is right now, but I want my hair to be done before she gets here so that then I'm just completely done and I can just head out the door whenever she's finished with my makeup. Yeah, also my skin is not doing so good today and I don't know what's going on i'm kind of upset about it but i'm hoping the makeup artist can make me look decent but yeah i don't know what's going on with my skin so that's a dilemma 
Other than that, it's been a very mellow morning. Gus actually had to go into the office to do some hiring and then he's gonna be back home. I feel like I'm gonna spend the majority of the day by myself or like with other people because I'm doing this photo shoot. So anyway, this is what we're looking like right now. Hopefully this looks good. Whew. All right, so this is the final look. I am like obsessed. I don't think I've ever had a makeup artist do my makeup so well. She even like overlined my lips perfectly, even better than I could ever do, which is crazy because I'm very particular about my lips and my eyebrows. And she's just like listened to everything that I wanted. She got the vibe and I love it. So she did this like soft matte cut crease on the eyes and then everything else just looks amazing i obviously did my own hair as you can tell it doesn't look the best it's fine because it's like a boudoir shoot so it's like i wanted like messy like i just woke up hair does that make sense anyway it actually took me a really long time to do this which doesn't look like much but i'm hoping it'll look good in pictures but other than that the makeup was the only part that i was really freaking out about because I don't know how to do photo shoot makeup like I can do my makeup for like events like birthdays and shit but I think the next time I have like a birthday that I need to go to and I need to like be all out glam I'm gonna book this girl because she did amazing and I loved all of the products she was using most of the products she used like I use or I've used in the past and I loved and she just did so good I'm, I'm honestly impressed I love it so anyway, I'm going to start packing up. I'm waiting for Gus so that we can go to the hotel. He's actually going to drop me off. And then after my photo shoot, we're actually going to hang out at the hotel because I booked it for the day or the night. Um, so I'm not just going to leave right afterwards. Like I'm going to make use of like the pool and yeah, maybe we'll have some dinner there. So I'm really excited. All right, so I just got into the room and I wanted to give you guys a little room tour before I start messing everything up. So this is the bathroom. It's pretty basic, nothing too special or cute or anything. And then they have this giant mirror here and then it's just a little one bedroom situation. It looks pretty basic, um, but apparently I did get upgraded to this view here, so cute and it has like this mini balcony situation so this is the vibe for the photo shoot i think the lighting's gonna be really good Whew, okay that's a wrap that was so much fun i can't believe i actually did that my photographer was so great she did all of the looks that i wanted to do i had three outfits and we did all of them i was thinking like i don't know i was just thinking like she might not want to do all of them or she might be like mm. no that was so much fun also my hair is like destroyed because of how much I was touching it during the photo shoot. I guess my hair was a great prop, so good thing I didn't get my hair done. But my makeup looked amazing. She was showing me like previews of everything and I'm just so happy I did this. And this is going to be such a great gift for Gus. If you're a bride and you're thinking about doing a boudoir photo shoot, just do it. Honestly, I feel so good about my body right now. Like just seeing the pictures that she was taking it's like i can't believe that's my body the last time i did a photo shoot with them with this couple it's a husband and wife team um it was our engagement photo shoot and she hasn't seen me since then which was like two years ago so she like as soon as she came in she's like did you lose weight like you look really good and i'm like like yes oh my god because i was significantly heavier during my engagement photo shoot and i was not happy about the way those pictures came out because of the way that i looked yeah, i just feel so much better about this photo shoot and how the pictures are going to come out and i just feel really great about myself right now so yay for me anyway gus is on his way right now um to the hotel and we're going to have some lunch maybe hang out at the pool if it's sunny enough but this hotel is like really nice it's very pretty and the room is like it's really nice it's not like tacky like most south orange county hotels also, I realized this like earlier today. I'm wearing the exact same outfit that I was wearing yesterday. Um, so I am an outfit repeater and I don't care. I, act, I really, really, really like this outfit. I am home now. I'm going to start unpacking all of these two bags. I kind of already took some stuff out, but unpacking dinner was so 
good. I just had a big ass steak and potatoes. I had them made without butter or oil, so it was just whole 30. There's no way you can mess it up. So yeah, that was my meal for today. And now we're just hanging out with Clyde. He had to have dinner as well. And I checked out of the hotel. The man was like strangely shocked that I was checking out. He's like, we have you here until tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, I won't be using the room anymore. <laughs> I felt so awkward and I just wanted to run out of there, so I did. Let's start unpacking. Okay, so I'm editing the video from the weekend and I realized that I never ended the vlog so here i am today is tuesday and i'm ending the vlog off here this weekend was so fun and i feel like it was a great way to just end the month of may and head into june kind of like the start of summer almost and i'm so excited june and july are gonna go by so fast next thing you know it's gonna be the wedding and then we have some exciting trips planned and yeah i'm just so excited for the rest of the summer so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this weekend's video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next one